Lai Mohammed told the delegation that as private media owners, irrespective of their location, with their wide reach, their news and programs have immense impact on the people. It is important for the private broadcast media owners to avoid the temptations to use their platforms or for their platforms to be hijacked to promote ethnic or religious agenda that are inimical to the emergence of a strong, peaceful, united and developed Nigeria. The minister, while citing example with the negative role the media played in the Rwandan genocide, private media owners, he said, should not take the country's unity for granted. We're not asking you to shut out those whose opinions may not agree with yours. We are saying simply that you must show great restraint in turning your platforms over to those whose opinions serve to divide us as a people. The minister called on them to partner with the federal government in the war against terrorism. He said Nigerians must be fully informed about the true situation. Earlier, chairman of the association, Tijan Ramalan, while congratulating the minister on his appointment, expressed the association's commitment in helping to promote government's programs and policies. We most respectively welcome the prospects of a level playing field in the broadcast sector. The association is made up of 15 licensed private broadcast operators with a combined platform of 22 radio and television stations. In Abuja, Anthony Forson, NTA News.